last probably I'd say maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, it's going to be we're going to move up to a range, you know, a three and a half kilometer firing range, where um, you'll be able to get familiar with the systems. I'll run you through how each system works, different types of ammunition, uh, how to set range on targets, how to dump that range. You know, the the and battle site and how that targets, works. Um, uh, obviously, as they get further away, they get very small and difficult to spot. Um, considerations when it comes to like the heat of a target, like for example, a stationary tank is going to be quite cold, whereas a moving tank will will warm up as it goes. You know, yeah. um, after we've run through all that and you've uh, fired off a couple of rounds down range, we'll rearm here. We're going to go on a short, a short uh, target spotting and engaging course target with stack. Uh, I'll be looking for you to set the right range for you before you engage and to pick the right ammunition type. Um, the third and final part then will be a live fire exercise up going following uh, a route up a northern valley there will be uh, light vehicles, armoured vehicles, APCs and main battle tanks to uh, engage en route uh, ok, okay. Uh, any questions? ok right, ok if I turn in now ok here we have right what I've set up as a three kilometer armored target range, okay? Basically, right, okay. if you you if you look out over there, you you will see nearby you'll see a few armored targets. You'll see they stretch out to uh there's about uh I know sixteen hundred meters away to that tree line and then beyond that on the hills beyond it you'll see targets that range between two and three and a half kilometers. Okay? Basically, oh, okay. the, the the main gun and this is is more than capable of hitting things up to three and a half to four kilometers. Okay, right. it's very important though that you set the range before you fire. Okay, to do this, basically you've got a system called the fire control system. Okay, what you bearing do, the target. Okay, there's a target hilltop bearing two eight three, uh, range of targets five eight zero. Okay, so if you look at that target hilltop at two eight three, see it there. Yep. Range, right, so hit tab, range the target. Yeah. Uh, it says for me five and nine zero. Okay. Uh, yep. And then you have cleared to fire on that target now. Okay. Uh, then I just pull trigger. Do just I? Just pull trigger. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's direct hit. Yep. You've destroyed you that vehicle. Something that's too near or too far away, the FCS will just blink. Okay. What happens when it blinks is it sets it to the minimum. Uh, minimum effective range or maximum effective range of that weapon. I think for the main gun, it's something around four kilometers, something like that. For the for the coaxial machine gun you've got, it's about eighteen hundred meters. That's the maximum range. Okay. You have to also keep in mind with the coaxial machine gun that when you're shooting at targets that are you know thousand eight fifteen hundred meters away, those rounds are not going to go sh directly to the target. They're going to arc at the target. And they're going to come down the sort of from above. the FCS. Are you've got dump, which removes your laser sighting, and you've got battle sight. Okay, battle sight is effectively it sets it directly to 1,200 meters. Okay, that's basically for if you think a target's going to appear very quickly at that range, which is a kind of average engagement range, uh, and you don't have time to laser the target, you don't have time to set a range. You just hit battle sight, which I believe is B, once you've got, when you've got the, uh, the fire control system up. Hit battle yep. sight. That'll set your range to 1,200. Okay. Um, okay, that covers the FCS. Okay, the next thing you got you got to know about are the types of ammunition you carry. Okay, with um, armor piercing, fin stabilizing, discarding sabot rounds. Okay, just sabot right. sabot for sure. Basically, these are pen there's a kinetic energy penetrator rounds. Okay, they 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 don't they don't contain explosives of any kind. They literally they're like a big they're like a bullet basically. Okay, they're tungsten tip yeah. bullet. They fire into armor. They they they're shaped in such a way and they hit with such a velocity. That they literally penetrate through the armor. Okay, they are great against armored vehicles. They are not so great against any other targets because there's no need. There's no use for them. You know, the other types of ammunition you carry are high explosive anti tank rounds or heat rounds. Okay, these are exactly what it sounds like. They're a shaped charge that explodes on impact. Uh, great against light vehicles. Great the against final the ammunition type is the canister. Okay, the canister round is like a giant shotgun shell. Right, it's actually it's pr it, it can be used really effectively against in infantry, against helicopters, things like that. Uh, you know, it's like having a fucking uh, clay pigeon shoot with helicopters. You know, and I'll hit it with the 50 because the 50 is the most effective weapon against helicopters, yeah. basically. Um, the canister round is primarily used. Um, you can use it to breach holes and walls, but uh, the actual you know, one of the main uses for it is uh, clearing friendly tanks of infantry that have overrun the tank. You know, if you've got infantry who are actually on the vehicle, it can the canister round is something that can be fired at that tank 
uh, without right. without actually damaging so the armor. You know, I'm going to call out some targets for you, okay? And I want you to in range those targets and engage, okay? Yep. Okay, so uh, find you a target now. Okay, we'll, we'll go with we'll go with the new ones first, okay? Bearing three two two, range to target four six zero, hilltop, just cresting over the hill. Three two two. That's it, mate. You need, that's it. You in, you can get engaged when you're ready. Good shot. Okay, that's a hit. They don't always explode, by the way. So the new target bearing three one three range to target what uh, sixteen hundred and sixty meters. Confirm you see target. Sorry, yeah, see target. Uh, that was a miss. A long way off. Three one three. Yeah. Oh, you hit another target. Yeah, right. Okay. Sorry, I moved my yeah, all right. All right, confirm you see target? Yeah. Okay, target. engage. Okay. Good shot, good shot. That's a, that's a, that's a kill. Okay. Uh target hilltop. Bearing three zero six. Range to target twenty six hundred meters. Uh confirm you see? Target. You said hilltop. Yeah, hilltop three zero six. Yep. Okay. Three zero six. Copy. Yeah. Only target I have is at eight seventy. Shouldn't be out of your view, but it might be. Uh, if you look, uh, look at the skyline. Look at the skyline. Three zero six, directly beneath the skyline. Ah, uh, I see it now. Yeah, mate. It's my fault. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yep. Engage when ready. Target. Okay. Sorry, okay. guns reloading. Oh, it's cool. The army. Okay. Two target. Ready to engage. Okay, engage when ready. That is a hit. Target didn't blow up, but don't worry, that's a hit. Ta all of like again, if you look, if you remember uh, the driver course, okay. Uh, we're going to be look, we're going to be following a course set out by a series of these radar beacons. All of the yeah. targets will be within the valley that we're travelling through. So you know, it's it's not, not going to be too tricky at this stage. It's just to get, it's literally just to to get the drill of call it, calling a target, and engaging a target, like down. You know, it's like so. Don't don't worry about. Um, there's no pressure or anything. You know, at this stage. Yeah, but I like to. Uh, I can set the bar pretty high with my driving training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because I've got a saber load round loaded. Would you just would you be happy for me just to put the round in? Yeah, it? yeah. You'd have to yeah, you'd have to really make sure your aim was on and hit and if you missed you'd have to get on the seven six two immediately. You'd need to kind of like, you know, get machine gun fire down on it because yeah, that is like our worst night left. And we are then in the spotting course, so uh I want uh situ situational awareness at a maximum beyond that point. Now the now the, again Good practice from the tank when you're in the turret is for the gunner to keep eyes from center to left. Okay, mm. don't and then the, the the commander will keep eyes from center to right. Basically, all right. It's like again, yeah. it basically means you've got eyes watching that whole arc. The the commander will also kind of look around to the rear quite a bit because the rear is uh, obviously the least protected area of the tank, and uh, the gunner should do the same on his side from time to time as well. Again. A lot of this, uh, a lot of the armored vehicle game is about patience. It's about patience and sticking to the uh, procedure of how you move and how you fire, and you know. Contact, contact. Bearing three two two, T seventy two. I'm three two two, three two two. Right, range and engage, range and engage. I'm going to turn and face. Good, good, good shot, good shot. Okay, right. When we, when I, when I call a contact, you've got to be real quick on getting to the bearing. Basically, it's really important yeah. that uh, you know the, the the driver and commander can can uh, you know the commander can help you spot the target. The driver can kind of help you evade the target, but it's only you that can destroy the target. Basically, in these situations. 
Whoa, um, contact front, contact front, bearing 300. I'm just going to get us in a hold on position now. You can't, you can't see us from here. All right, bearing 300. I didn't get a range, but I'll get you one now. All right, hold. Okay, he's bearing 300 low. He's low, okay? He is range 540. Do you see him? Confirm right. you see target. Confirm. Okay, target. engage when ready. Good shot. He is down. That is a good shot, mate. Right. Well done. In um, in an actual battle situation, if we're up against more 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 targets than one, one the reason I ask confirm you see target is because as soon as the gu ignore that as soon as the gunner confirms target, I have to yeah. start searching for other targets basically. So after that point, it's your responsibility to take out that Just target. Out. Again, this is this is the tricky part. See, right? There's yeah. the from the ranges, the kind of ranges that we, we, we will engage from or be engaged from, the landscape is even a barrenish landscape it can be very detailed and there's a lot to kind of have to look over. That's why these, these hold on positions are really important because it gives you it affords you that opportunity to look over an area before you actually commit to it, you know. Front mate, three one nine. Yeah, sorry mate, yeah, three one nine. Okay. Shot all right, that's down. Copy three zero eight, yeah, how range to target? You pull back. Yeah, mate, copy. Alright, oh yep, yeah, copy, engage, engage. Nice engage. work, good work, he's Most on fire. He's roll down. in the tank, really, because it's, you know, without the gun, basically, the tank is just a big, slow lumbering thing. And, uh. Big fucking billboard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, then. Um, Okay, we're going to rearm at this vehicle refueling point. Have you got any questions or anything at this point, or you know, rearm everything? Okay, now what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to ask you to load high explosive anti-tank rounds, heat rounds. Okay. All right. Basically, so I've only got eight heat rounds. No, that's right. Yeah, but the uh, again, the T72s we're going to be up against. If you hit them with one of these, their armor, their armor is pretty old. You hit them with one of these, they're going to go down. But we also, if we're facing soft targets and you need to get a shot of the red area, the red area indicates the start and end locations for this patrol. Okay. Alright, we're going to be moving up the road, uh, up, up to this town here, okay? We're going to go, yeah. we're going to go, do you see where the road goes through this valley here? We're not going to go that route, it's too obvious a choke point, right, for the enemy to take advantage of. We are going to climb the hill here and come through this gully here, okay? We'll end, okay. we'll end up there. Then we're going to move north uh, on the uh, western side of the road, all the way up to this point here and engage any targets we find there and finally we're going to take this kind of crossroad type area here and we'll call that a day then because okay yep. you know re remember the most important thing is to range your targets before you engage okay if if, if right. you're not if you're not set at the right range you there's a much higher chance you'll miss and give them the enemy an opportunity to uh, engage you okay all right I'm going to be observing all tactical uh, movement protocols as we uh, move through this area as well. Alright, listen, Gunny, you're going to keep looking directly front down this road. I'm going to look off to the right here, just in case there's anything over there, right? You need, if you see a target, you're going to have to engage it. Oh, mate, target front, tank front, rating 340. Engage, mate, engage. Nice, fucking brilliant, mate, brilliant. Good shot. Whoa, whoa, dude, we got an APC at 1015, uh, mate. Range is 260. It's not immediate threat, but take it out anyway. 015. See him there? Just below the walls and like, yep. yeah, you go. Engage, mate. Occupy it. That's it. Yep. Got him? Okay, I'm, I'm going to get us into position to take out these. Uh, All right. Oh, I see him. Yep. I got him. I think he's down. I think I hit the driver then. Um, reverse a little, have a look. Sorry, oh, up the road, you say? Yep. Okay, mate, I'll get you in position now. Oh, mate. Alright. Contact front. Copy. Tank. Copy. Can you engage? Can you engage? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Good shot. Very good. There he is, mate. There he is. There he is. Engage. Oh, that was a glancing blow. You have to hit him again. Hit him again. Now, mate, it's got to reload, I know. Alright. Ready? Okay, engage. Boom. He's down. He's down. Just look, see if any crew get out. And, uh, 
Okay. Contact yep, copy seen, yep. Getting reversing back into our hold down position. Hang on. Uh, can you see over there now? Not too far down. Contact T thirty four bearing zero four eight. Copy zero four eight. Target, Copy mate, engage man. If you've got a shot, engage. <coughs> Boom. Uh, I don't know. There's there's one ne there's one nearby as well, mate. Mo, contact front zero se zero three seven. Uh, it's below. It's under two hundred meters, I think, mate. He's just behind that tree now. He's coming out left side. Good shot. Good shot. That's a hit. He's down. Okay. Right. The technical is moving. No, that APC that you hit is moving. Sorry, mate. He's moving. Um, can you see him up there? No. Shot. No. All right. Yeah, right. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, I think I might have just glitched it out. You may have like it may have just got just gone short. It's right, mate. When we get up there, we'll take it out. It's only a, a M113, I think. So you see what, how much of a difference the thermal makes, man. Whoa, contact front T34 bearing uh, zero nine two. Turn into face now. Gonna get a sit behind this bank a minute, right? Can you see him there? Oh, yeah. Range yeah. and engage, mate. Shot, he's down. Good shot. Nicely on target. Alright, we're gonna move us around there now. Uh, right. I can see. Oh, here we go. There's that APC, mate. Range and engage. Nice, there you go. <laughs> I think we definitely can call out a confirmed kill this time. So that's it. I mean, so basically, yeah, you've uh, you know you've you've completed the course now. You know how to use the fire control system, uh, how to range targets. Uh, you know, using bearings to get their location, etc. You know what ammunition type to use in what yep. situations. Uh, you've done um, spotting targets in a fairly richly detailed environment, uh, which you know I'm pleased to say you actually you know you spotted some very tricky targets there and then you pretty much excelled on the live fire course yeah you did you you know you did brilliantly so yeah uh yeah that is i mean just basically like i said before it's like it's a much more involved role than being the driver i mean i know your driver training kind of you know gets gets you it introduces you to operating an armored vehicle and um you know when you did the driver course i was very pleased with your program with your um your uh you know uh, ability then and I gotta say yeah I'm even more pleased with your ability as a gunner to be honest so yeah well done oh awesome yes Cheers, dude. okay